Well, the purpose of the Tasmaniana Library is to collect and preserve and make available everything that's published in Tasmania, everything that's published anywhere else that might have Tasmanian content in it, and anything by a Tasmanian. And that is a very, very wide brief. And it attempts to embrace everything that's published. So that ranges from very substantial books to theatre programs, to Apple case labels, to maps, to CDs and CD-ROMs and DVDs and uh, we even collect things that have no physical existence at all. We collect virtual publications. So we are aiming to preserve for posterity the entire range of Tasmanian published material. Library staff are also very important in actively building collections. And in the 1970s and 1980s, Geoffrey Stilwell, who was a very long serving and very important member of staff here, um, decided that one of the things we really ought to be preserving is apple case labels. A, not a uniquely Tasmanian object, but very important in Tasmania's agricultural history. So we have an extraordinary collection of apple and pear case labels. This is, so far as we know, the earliest Tasmanian apple case label for Wombat brand apples. Very rare, very flimsy and uh, a lovely little work of art. Lots more recent ones, some of them not artistically very interesting, but this one showing the famous pear walk at Lalla, uh, which is a, an interesting piece of local documentation in its own right. Sometime around 1982, a man called Bradley Smith came across an extraordinary collection of things that had belonged to his great-grandfather, a man called J.W.B. Murphy. Mr. Murphy had been the manager of the Theatre Royal for many years. He was, in fact, a professional trombone player. And Mr. Murphy collected theatre posters and theatre programs. The posters were those long, thin ones which were designed to go in the um, glass-fronted cases outside the theatre. And we have a collection of 370 of Mr. Murphy's, uh, the posters Mr. Murphy collected. We had a lot of very interesting theatre at that time, and it's very well documented in this extraordinary Murphy collection. One of the most extraordinary books in our collection is this book called Aurora Australis, which was printed at the South Pole, the first book to be printed at the South Pole, by members of Shackleton's expedition. And it was printed over the summer of 1908-1909. There were about 100 copies of it made. Each copy is bound in packing boards from food cases that were taken with the expedition and this is a julienne soup copy. There are several julienne soup copies but there are also um, baked bean copies and various other sorts of copies. One of the extraordinary things about this copy which I think makes it unique among all other copies is that at the rear it has this extra sheet with a menu for the midwinter dinner at Cape Royds in the Antarctic in 1908 and it's signed by all of the people who were present at the dinner. At least some librarians get very enthusiastic about what we call ephemera, the um, occasional printed bits of this and that that are intended to be thrown away almost as soon as they're produced, once they've fulfilled their purpose. Some of the most important ephemera, I think, are things like theatre programs and art exhibition catalogues, which are often discarded but often have the only surviving piece of information about an event or an activity uh, that might have been recorded. Um, it's probably still very well known, I think, that in 1948 um, Laurence Olivia and Vivian Lee came to Hobart and performed in the Theatre Royal and their comments about the beauty, the beauty and wondrousness of the Theatre Royal really contributed to the fact that it was preserved and conserved and is still a living theatre. So there we have uh, the program from one of the, the three plays that they performed when they were here in the Theatre Royal in 1948. People use it for all sorts of things. Um, professional and academic historians use the collection for whatever subject they might be pursuing. People with um, an enthusiastic amateur interest in a subject will use it. So we have railway enthusiasts and tramway enthusiasts and people interested in jetties and people interested in their family and almost any subject you can think of. We have um, school students using it for their project work. Um, we receive inquiries from all over the world, from Australia and the rest of the world, which we try to answer from the resources in our collections. So it's a very, very widely used collection.